Hey, how are you doing? This is Russell Wilkes, R-U-S-S-E-L-L-W-I-L-K-S, -L -L and this is the Muscle Voodoo Online channel. Uh, more questions from uh, about expanders and strands. Uh, they seem to be coming back in vogue, really, in, in the, because they're wonderful pieces of kit. As you can see, uh, in this video, I'm using this Power Push-Up 2, which I bought in 2005 from Lifeline Fitness. This is about 240 pounds of resistance. And you can use it, pretty, even though it's slightly longer than a normal expander, about a third long, but you can actually use it for doing a lot of different movements. You're only limited by your imagination. So, uh, and that's lower body and upper body exercise. On other videos, I'll show up lower body exercise and sort of leg work and, and stuff like that. But in this clip, I've been asked to, one second, for a direct question. Uh, Marta, this is actually for quite a few people actually. Marta P in Hungary. Joseph in Slovakia and a guy called who calls himself Zengushway off after Zengushway after the uh, muscle rub probably uh, he is apparently in Taipei in Taiwan so uh, they want to know about something called a whip it that's a whip it a whip it is a brilliant isometric movement for your shoulders it's actually wonderful for your shoulder health particularly your shoulder joints. And you do it in a number of different ways, but the basic premise, the basic secret to doing the whip it is actually not just the movement itself, which is a kind of a over the back movement where you're just pushing back. The, move, the secret is to actually push back in an isometric against your own joints. And I'll show you this now. Why that matters is that's the thing that builds really maximum strength in this. Take your expander, palms face that way, as such, you can flip it over your back as you would do a back press, and I'll do the whip it now. It's a hold, it's an isometric hold. I'll firstly do it in the conventional style. So you take it over your head like this. Oh, by the way, I'll show you how to do it, uh, uh, use this in, a, in a, a full arm ISO set. Now, so ready, whip it over the back like that, up and over. Take it as far back as you possibly can until your shoulders have come around and they're pinned together. Now, push back as hard as you can against the expander like so push back like push 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 and hold it for 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 then bring it over with full tension over your head and then into a front spread like this it's about 240 pounds resistance and hold again suck your stomach in keep it in keep this front spread like that and then resist the negative like that when you're stopping that is how to do a, a, a standard whip it You'll, you'll see us again. I took it over. You take it over the over your head, and it's actually a shoulder dislocation that you'll do with it. You can do with a, a standard strand or a broomstick or something like that. You're actually going like that. And you let the arms go back until the shoulders come together, and there's a kind of almost dislocation sort of feel. And then you push back against the joints. Now, a harder way of doing this is instead of putting the hands in that way. You put the hands in the other way so you basically pull apart like that and do a reverse grip whip it like that like so same thing again hold it hold it hold it keep a grip keep gripping grip grip, grip. and then bring it into a front spread again get over your head like that palms up in a, in a crucifix grip one two three five six seven and ten and there's this a negative that is absolutely mega all body exercise but that's actually phenomenal uh for well pretty much everything your shoulders will pop up like like trains like that on the out doing that and it's brilliant for your shoulder health because remember with a lot of expander movements you're using the stabilizer muscles the smaller muscles they're getting so much more work as well as the bigger muscles so they your rotator cuffs, for example, your rhomboids, your all those things are working really hard to do the work there. So if you've got problems with your shoulders or if you just want mega strong shoulders, etc., do the whip it. Do a whip it as I said, either the front, either the palms out over the back, that grip, or 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 the grip you'd use on a reverse fly, like so. You saw me do the second one, taking it over your head, and it's in this movement behind the head. And they work really great as just isometric holes where you just say, pull, hold them for time and then 
flip them, come over the head with full tension and into a front, some kind of front spread, either palms down or palms up. Those sort of things, those isometrics, static contractions with uh, strong negatives, and etc., are really, really good for you. Will build strength and power very quickly, and a lot of it. And the other thing to remember there as well is the fact, obviously, with expands, as I've said on many other videos, the great things about them, apart from the fact you can build strength and power from every different angle, and you're only limited by your imagination. One of the great things about them is basically an expander. The positive is the negative. So when you're pushing out against the expand, pushing or pulling out against the expander, it wants to snap back. It wants to go, come back because of the tension in it. So you automatically get an automatic negative, and then it really actually very easy to do resisted negatives with as well. So they are a great piece of kit. Anyway, that's the whip it, the front and back whip it we, into the front spread. Uh, hope you like that. Like, like my, like my shit. Uh, <laughs> like my videos. Uh, subscribe, etc. My name is Russell Wilks. L U S S E L L W I L K S. This channel is Muscle Voodoo. Thank you very much. More later.